Good morning, students. Today is our math period. Okay, so today we are going to begin with a new textbook of maths, discovering math. Okay, this textbook is by EDAC. Okay, this is standard one textbook. So I hope you all have bought the textbook from Sakal Shopee. Those who have not yet taken, please call the person's number is already given, Mr. Amit. Okay, you are going to call that person and you will go to the shop for buying the books. Okay, so today we will begin with the textbook. Okay, after turning the page, you will get this particular part wherein you are going to fill the details. Your name, standard, division and everything. Now this is the content page. Okay, in this the index is given means the name of all the chapters of this textbook okay so we are going to begin with the first chapter chapter one let us revise okay so means in this lesson we are going to revise all the things which you already learned in your pre-primary section okay chapter number one let us revise this is page number eight of the textbook okay in this first new words are given for example on under okay this book is on the table and this mouse is under the table next this one Okay, above, below, this fan is above the table, okay, above means it is not touching to the table, okay, we are, we are not, we should not say on the table, okay, it is above the table because it is not touching the table and again now this is below the table, above, opposite, below. Next is top, bottom. Okay, this mouse is at the top of the table. Where it is at the top of the table. And the cat is standing at the bottom of the table. Okay, top and bottom. Now the next one. You all know this very simple. Elephant is big. And this cat is small okay now see this picture okay we are going to consider this tree okay the boy is sitting near the tree near means zawar okay and this boy is sitting far from the tree near far so what these all are these all are concepts and even we can say the opposite words. Okay. And even in English terms, if you are going to see, these are prepositions also. Okay. Now, after that, below they have given the number names. Okay. You all know this, all the number names. So, quickly we all are going to read all these number names. One. O. N E 1 T W O 2 T H R double E 3 F O U R 4 F I V E 5 S I X 6 S E V E N 7 E I G H T 8 N I N E 9 Which is the last number name which, which is not given here? 9 after? 10 And what is the spelling of 10? T E N 10 Now moving on to the next page Page number 9 Okay, so the first concept which is given in the textbook is big and
and small okay we are going to compare two pictures okay here four pictures are given so first two pictures are of vehicles these two are vehicles we are going to compare these two vehicles by their size so which one is bigger bus is bigger or this car is bigger one yes big small yes now the next animals shown in the picture which one is bigger giraffe or this dog yes giraffe is bigger than dog okay this is the comparison which is done by their sides big or small okay now the next question which is given in practice zone is tick the objects that are big see when you are you are going to solve any sum you are supposed to read the question first okay without reading you are not going to solve anything okay reading is very very important before solving any sum okay so first we are going to compare these two animals which one is bigger lion or the ship come on come on tell me which one is bigger one yes the lion is big so we are going to tick here okay the next again the vehicles picture which one is bigger train or this rickshaw cycle rickshaw okay this is the picture of a cycle rickshaw which one is bigger see their size okay this the train is bigger than a cycle rickshaw okay moving on to the next page page number 10 okay near and far okay so we're going to see in this picture this is a cat we are going to consider cat okay there are two boys okay the first boy who is sitting down is near to the cat javada hai na near to the cat and this one standing is far from the cat okay near far near far the person who is standing far this boy is standing the boy who is wearing a cap is standing far from the cat okay now the next is practice zone 2 Read the first question. Tick the bird near to the hut. We are going to tick the bird which is near to the hut. Where is the hut in this picture? Yes, this is hut. Okay. So which bird is near to the hut? Near means zavar. Okay. Which bird is near to the hut? This one or this one? Yes come on guess Yes the first bird is near to the hut so we are going to tick in this box Okay Now tick the cow far from the pond Where is the pond Yes this is a pond Okay So we are going to tick the picture of a cow which is far from the pond far means lamb okay now this cow is near and this is far from this pond pond pasun lamb konta cow ahe this one so we are going to tick in this box okay now the next page page number 11 okay the next concept is top and bottom okay so now these are stairs okay on the stairs the boy is standing at the top and the girl is standing at the bottom top 
bottom top bottom okay okay so this boy is standing at the top and the girl is standing at the bottom of the stairs okay now we'll see the practice zone 3 write t on the object that is on the top and b on the object that is at the bottom t for top and b for bottom okay now this is a picture of a car okay on the car at the top of the car something is there some uh, what one animal is sitting and at the bottom of the car one animal is sitting so which one is at the top this is top this is bottom okay so we are going to write here t for top and here b for bottom top of the car cat is sitting at the bottom of the car okay there is a dog now the next page page number 12 Okay the next concept is on and under on and under okay now this is a table the girl is sitting on the table and this boy is at the under the table okay on the table under the table on the table under the table okay we'll see the practice zone draw a smile for the object which is on the chair okay smiley for the object which is on the chair and sad face for the object which is at under the chair okay now which object is on the chair on the chair yes teddy bear is on the chair Okay so what we are going to draw for teddy bear smiley these are two eyes and this is smiley face okay and we are going to draw a sad face for the object which is under the chair so ball is under the chair so here we are going to draw sad face okay teddy bear is on the chair and the ball is under the chair the next concept is above and below the aeroplane is above the flyover this is flyover is it the aeroplane sitting on the flyover okay no it is not touching to the flyover it is still flying no okay it is flying over the flyover okay so it is flying the aeroplane is above the flyover okay above and the car is below the flyover okay a flyover cha khali aaye na car yes and this aeroplane flyover cha varti aahe so above below above below okay now practice zone 5 we will solve draw a smiley for the object which is above the tree and sad face for the object which is below the tree okay now tell me what is above the tree yes yes the sun is above the tree so we're going to draw a smiley over here okay and the ball is below the tree okay so we're going to draw a sad face for this okay okay now on the next page they have given the numbers from 1 to 9 and their number names okay so we are going to count the object we'll see whether the number is correct and the number name okay so you're going to read this page properly like one brush Number one, O N E one, one two, two hats. Number two, T W O two. Okay, 
so in this manner you are going to read this page okay you will count you will check whether the number is written correct or not and you are going to read the number name on the next page they have given us practice zone okay so in this what we are going to do see for that we need to read the question okay write the numbers and their number names okay means we are going to write the numbers first and then their number names okay here the number 1 is written and here on this number 1 we are going to trace again we are going to write in the empty boxes 1 1 here we are going to write the spellings number names what is the spelling of 1 o n e 1 okay so we are going to write here o n e 1 again one more time o n e 1 okay now the next number 2 we are going to trace on these dotted lines two empty boxes write number 2 2 what is the spelling of 2 t w o 2 t w o 2 okay so in this manner in this way you all are going to complete this page you will copy the numbers in these empty boxes and you will write the number names okay this much for today children so you are going to complete these all the pages in your textbook and those who have not yet taken the textbook please go to the shop and buy your textbooks okay till the time take care everyone and complete your work thank you